Welcome back, boys and girls. So I was hoping that we could do an activity together today. You know, I was looking around my house and I was wondering, what can we do with the things that we have in our houses that we could do something together? And I found the perfect thing. So I know that you have these around your house. These are toilet paper rolls, paper towel rolls, and I even cut up a roll that held my wrapping paper. So ask your mom or dad to help you and see what you could find around the house, some type of paper towel roll. So I thought it'd be really cool. You could make a ladybug out of your paper towel roll. So I just took a small roll and you could either paint this black for the ladybug or you can use paper, construction paper and roll it. So what Mrs. Lakowski did is I just put my paper towel roll on a sheet of black paper and I rolled it around. You have to use a glue stick so it'll stick there. Watch this, just roll. Add some glue at the very end of your paper. And look, it's all black. But again, boys and girls, if you have black paint, you can always paint your paper towel roll. So now I just added some details. You can glue on the top of the ladybug, add some eyes, and now you can make the wings as well. So I just had some red construction paper, but I have to cut this. Remember boys and girls, while you're at home, you could still practice cutting. But before you cut anything, make sure you talk to your mom and dad and have them give you your child scissors, the small scissors. And remember how we cut. You put your thumb into the small hole and your other fingers into the larger hole. And so it's comfortable for you. But remember, boys and girls, it's thumbs up. You could practice this. That's how we cut. So you can cut out your red circle. And I needed to cut it in half. Straight down the middle. Notice how Mrs. Lakowski is doing thumbs up on the scissors. And then you could just use some glue at the top and then add it onto your ladybug's wings. Now, boys and girls, the ladybug has dots. I just used a hole puncher to cut out the black dots, but you can use paint or marker or whatever you like. Guess what else I did with the paper towel roll? I made a butterfly. Same thing. I used the black, I added the black around the roll. I added eyes for my butterfly, some antenna here. And then I wanted to make wings. Boys and girls, you can use anything to make your butterfly wings. On this one, I used a coffee filter, but a different kind of coffee filter. Maybe you have this at home. And I glued tissue paper onto it, all different colors and I glued and I made it all stick and I used the Mod Podge glue to make it shiny and sparkly. I think your mom and dad could find you some Mod Podge. And then I just added the wigs. But boys and girls, if you don't wanna use that, you could always use your round coffee filter, decorate it however you like, and then add the coffee filter for the wings. You could just glue the back. Or some of you even may have doilies at home. You can decorate your doily however you like, and then you could stick, you can glue your butterfly body right onto 
the doily, and it could be a beautiful butterfly for spring. So boys and girls, look around your house and be creative. You could do whatever you like. Think about other insects that you could make. Could you make a bumblebee using one of the paper towel rolls or another type of insect? So enjoy. I hope you have fun. Talk soon. Miss you so much.